been snowing, but we're not allowed to go outside and play because it is dangerous. <laughs> so today we're making a sidecar. I'm gonna make this really simple. It's a shaken cocktail, fine strained into a cocktail glass or coupette. Three ingredients, brandy, lemon juice, triple sec. The recipe you follow will either be equal measures of all three ingredients or they'll favor a larger measure of the brandy. I'm gonna be using an exceptional brandy seven tails. So I'm gonna go with a larger measure of the brandy so that I can taste that in the cocktail. I'm gonna go with a 50 ml measure of the brandy, juice of half a lemon. I'm just gonna use the triple sec to balance out the acidity. So here we go, into the shaker. Brandy, lemon juice, triple sec. And yes, the more mature audience member may have spotted the fact that I'm using Cointreau from the 1940s, because I can. So fill the shaker with around 7.3 kilos of ice, or at least whatever you can fit in the shaker, and shake away. Fine strain to remove any shards of ice from the drink and enjoy. Right, so there are various ways of garnishing a sidecar. None of them are wrong, none of them are more correct than the other. The sidecar does stem from a family of cocktails called a cruster, where you would have a crust, a sugar crust on the rim of the glass. That's quite old school. If you're gonna play around with a sugar rim, make sure that you go slightly more on the sour side in the drink so that there's a nice sweet sour play on the palate when you're actually drinking it. Lovely stuff. Otherwise, this drink has both lemon and orange in it. So so a zest of either will be really interesting and pull it in different directions depending on what you fancy. Right, now we've got that out of the way, there is a reason that we are making a sidecar today. And it is not just because it's a delicious drink. So in last week's video, we tackled light spirit with citrus, the daiquiri. This is all about how a dark spirit can work with citrus. And the sidecar is a perfect example. How to take a barrel aged product that is rich and spicy with notes of dried fruit and vanilla and get that to work with the sharp acidity of the citrus. So as a general rule of thumb, when playing around with citrus in cocktails, this is, this is simple, but it is so valuable, such valuable information. If you're using a spirit from the uh, Americas, tequila, mezcal, rum, then use a lime. If you're playing around with a spirit from Europe, etc., then use a lemon. Vodka is neutral, so it'll work with either. So, rum, lime, and sugar. Tequila, lime, and sugar, or triple sec. Whiskey, lemon, sugar, in addition perhaps of some egg white. Brandy, lemon, sugar, or in this case, triple sec. Gin, lemon, sugar, so short or long, with egg white or without. Vodka, lemon, sugar. No, but seriously, vodka, lemon, and sugar, this is where your modifier can become the hero of the drink. So, vodka, lemon, sugar, and raspberries. Vodka, lemon, sugar, passion fruit, and a whole load of other sugar. Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see where I'm going with this? Spirit citrus sweet and or a modifier is the basic makeup of countless cocktails. One more example for you. Rum, lime, and sugar. Wait, we've done that. Add mint, serve it long. Suddenly, it's a mojito. Guys, you're welcome. See you next week.